Hey guys, Too Legit City here, and today we're gonna be talking about food storage in Oxygen Not Included. If you guys are coming back from playing the vanilla Oxygen Not Included game, the food preservation mechanics have changed, and that may cause some issues for you guys. Back before, all we needed in the foods is to have a sterile atmosphere, and that would stop the food from decaying in and of itself. That was all we needed before, but now with the Oni DLC coming out, spaced out, we now need to have the sterile atmosphere along with the deep freeze. The deep freeze happens uh, usually around the minus 18 degrees Celsius, but depending on the food, the range of a deep freeze will change. Something like sleep wheat deep freezes at 10 degrees Celsius positive, while most of the food otherwise requires a minus 18 Celsius for it to reach a deep freeze state. Now, once it reaches both a sterile atmosphere and a deep freeze, the food becomes no chance of rotting. The decay rate basically drops to zero, as you can see right here on the tooltip. Now, we're still actually able, even though uh, Clay made all the changes to things like the one tile storage, not able to pick up diagonally anymore we are actually still able to work around that and this is our new food storage system along with our great hall and of course this is our kitchen down below we're going to be going over everything there is to go over here and this is my food storage kitchen and great hall build this great hall build actually is meant for 25 duplicates right now we're at 24 and as there is 25 chairs one of the takeaways is that you actually don't need to have your water cooler enabled. So once you build it, if you are fast enough, you could disable the building immediately so you don't even fill it up with water. And that means you don't waste any water for your duplicates to drink. This is actually really good as sometimes the water may have food poisoning in it and that will compromise your dupes. So by disabling it, you don't waste water and you still get the bonus for the Great Hall as it still counts for a recreational building. Over here, you could see that we're using paintings for this. You could come in with one statue, and that's all you really need, as long as the statue is, of course, over 20 decor. That actually means that you guys could easily build a metal block as it spawns at 20, without even having a artist improve the decor of it. Now, that's the Great Hall. It's very great to have as the Great Hall room bonus increases morale by six points and you could very easily get this within the first 10 cycles if you beeline for this of course that is a great morale boost in the early game and i would highly recommend building the great hall now let's talk about the food preservation now how are we cooling down our food we actually have the aqua tuner right here and bringing up the pipe overlay you can see that we're circling petroleum at minus 40. I said earlier that most foods require a minus 18 degrees Celsius. That's actually the bottom part. The floor, or in our case, the ceiling, we don't actually have to cool it down anywhere lower than minus 18, as there is nothing that requires anything colder than that. So having it at minus 40 just kind of adds a buffer so that we could always have the food be cold. Now, the way we're actually cooling down the food is we're using a very slow method, but it works. We're having a metal tile made out of aluminum. As you guys may know, aluminum is very conductive and thermally reactive, meaning that the heat transfer happens faster than a non-aluminum metal. Aluminum is probably number one until you get to some of the very end game materials for conductivity. So I would recommend using aluminum if you guys can. If not, look up the stats of uh, thermal conductivity. Now, in the actual tile, this is actually a vacuum on these two tiles. And that's because while your food is in a vacuum, none of the heat is actually touching it. Since this is a vacuum and the food is touching the metal tile, there is heat transfer here. But there is no heat transfer with anything else around it. Because of the insulated tile properties, the metal tile will chill the insulated tiles, but it's at a very, very slow rate. Also, because of the fact that this is in a vacuum, 
It does not chill the crude oil that we're using as a liquid lock. This allows our duplicants the ability to grab the food that they would like to eat without disrupting the lock or the food that's being stored. Now, of course, this means that we are able to stockpile the calories. Up top, you can see that we have 4,500 kcals of barbecue. Our critter ranch is providing all of the meat. And if the food never rots, we're just stacking up all the positive amounts after our duplicates eat for the day. That allows us to stockpile indefinitely. And because of the one tile storage, all of my kcals is actually on this tile. Now for the kitchen, we have over here two one tile food storages. The top one is the cooked food that I want my duplicates actually able to eat. And the bottom one right here is the raw food that actually gets stored in from this loader. Now how it works is that the auto sweeper is within range of the tile, both grills and one of the loaders. The auto auto sweeper is in range of both grills and the other loader. This allows the automation to deliver to the right storage building as we could select and filter out the different types of items we would like to have. And this is our rail management, very straightforward. This goes into the uncooked and this goes into the cooked storage. You could actually replace one of the grills with the gas range if you guys want to have double processing, but you guys will have to pay attention to the filters for your loaders, as that may change if you want to double process some of the foods like barbecue and cooked fish into something like surf and turf for the morale bonus. But that's something that's only if you want more morale than the plus eight you get from the barbecue or if you need it. Otherwise, this is the one tile storage, great hall and kitchen design that I favor to use. We actually went over the Aqua Tuner design on a previous video, so you guys can check that out over there. Otherwise, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys.